Determine the best location for the section manifold assemblies. A location in the center of the rows is ideal, though this will not always be possible when taking the planter's folding movements into consideration. Be sure to choose a location that will also minimize the length of hose running from the section manifold to the row shutoff valves. We do not advise exceeding 20 feet in length. Your kit contains U-bolts for easy mounting of the section manifold. All section manifolds need to be installed at the same height. You may need to drill new holes or create your own bracket to allow for unimpeded planter folding motion. We recommend mounting the section manifold on one side of the planter first so that you can check that everything folds correctly before mounting on the other side. To wire the section manifolds, lay out the row shutoff valve splitter harnessing so that each row shutoff valve, the air valve, and liquid solution valve is within reach of a connector on the cable. Plug the cable into each row. Next, you will install the row shutoff valve with bracket, one valve per row. Remove the nut on the row unit and install the provided bracket, remembering to reattach the nut afterwards. Flow can run either direction through the valve. Mount the valve to minimize interference with row mounted equipment. It is time to select your in furrow foam delivery bracket. Three commercially available brackets are compatible with the Thrive 3D application system. John Deere liquid tube brackets, Keaton seed firmer brackets, and rebounder brackets. These are not included with your kit, so you should purchase them from your local agricultural dealer beforehand. In this video, we are using John Deere liquid tube brackets. Connect tubing from the row valve to either the straight or bent row finish kit provided with your system. The finishing kit that you choose will depend on the bracket you selected. Make sure that you have routed the hose so that it will not interfere with either the seed boxes or seed meters. To give your Thrive 3D application system an adequate power supply, you will need to connect the two main power cables directly to the tractor battery. Route the provided power cables from the hitch to the tractor battery, cut to length, and crimp the fuse and ring terminals to the power leads. Connect the power leads to the battery. Depending on the size of the planter, a third power lead may be required to power an additional air compressor. The hitch connection allows you to disconnect the Thrive 3D application system from your tractor when necessary. From the hitch, connect power and route the other power cables to the pump pack and dual ISO mod as necessary.